Hey, it's Shaitan here. Today we're going to change the spark plugs again. Um, I actually changed the spark plugs a month ago when I found out the spark plugs I bought on eBay are fake. So I'm going to show you how to tell what which ones are real, which one's fake. I'm going to show you the differences. And also I put my boroscope down in the cylinder when I changed the spark plugs. And then I put some BG44 k cleaner in it. So I'll show you the before and after pictures of one month of driving on it and see if it improved the cleaning inside the cylinder. All right, you gotta take off this cover. We're gonna move these 10 millimeter bolts. And then you're gonna stick it off. Pull it off on these two spots right here. And then you're gonna remove these 10 millimeter bolts with the coils and then you're gonna carefully take these connectors off. So these pins are pretty old. Mine already broke off, so you're gonna try not to break it. All right, after you take off the bolts and take off the connectors, make sure you don't mix them up. They're in order because of the length. You're gonna carefully remove your coils and you're gonna make sure they go in the same spot. All right, so next I'm gonna use this, my extender with my ratchet, and I'm gonna have this, uh, it's a special spark plug remover. It has a magnetic end, so it'll grab the spark plug. The link is in the description below. I got it on Amazon. All right, so now I got the spark plugs out. I'm gonna use my borescope to look inside the engine. So I'll leave the link in the description below. I got this on Amazon. It's a really good cheap borescope. All right, so we're gonna stick the borescope in. You can see on the phone, it's pretty cool. Stick it in the hole. And then you take a picture of it. Alright, so this device, you turn it on and then you find connection on your Wi-Fi and just connect to it. It's pretty simple. So the left is the fake side and then the, the right is the real. I'll uh, show you the differences. So the reason how I knew that this was fake is because I came across uh, a channel on YouTube called the Car Care Nut. And he's like a really good mechanic. He specializes in Toyota and I came across a video that he made about counterfeit parts. So I clicked on it and I was like, oh man, I just ordered... Uh, Sparks plugs last month on eBay. Let me go see if they're fake. And I uh, went to go check. And I mean, everything he said about it was true. So let's look at the box. So the fake one says made in Japan, but the one I just got at the dealership says made in US with foreign contents. And then if you look on the side, the numbers don't match up. The fake one has 90919, and this one is 90080. And if you watch the guy's video, I'll, I'll leave the link in the description. He talks about how the numbers never change for Toyota. So that's kind of odd. And then let's take a look at the spark plugs themselves. And I mean, these guys are really good. I mean, they look identical. I mean, it works. I've used it for a month, but I just, I just don't want a fake spark plug that's in my car. Um, if you look at it, it says Denzel Japan and then EN and then these bunch of plus signs and the real one says assembled in the US with foreign content and if you look at them the tips they look almost the same it's probably not iridium tips but it's uh pretty close anyway this is what my fake looks like uh, so it says iridium on there just like the real one, iridium, but the real one actually is a little more faded. The letters are a little more faded than the fake one. The fake one's a little more darker. It is a smaller font, and then where it says Denzo, it's pretty close. Um, actually, the real one, the colors are actually more faded, which is kind of strange because that's not what he had in the video. He said the fake one was more faded, but for some reason my fake one is uh, not very faded. It's actually more darker, so it's kind of odd. These are the fake spark plugs after just two months of use. And if you look at the tips, look how like burnt up they are. 
and these are the real spark plugs that I had for over a hundred thousand miles so over a hundred thousand miles I don't even remember how when the last time I changed these so these I changed these to that and look at the tips you can see the difference it's not that worn out and then this is just two months of use and it looks like that so fake real two months 10 years all right before i install the spark plugs i'm gonna gap it make sure it's the correct gap in the, the space for the tip and the where it sparks uh so i have a feeler gauge here i got on uh from harbor freight it's probably like five bucks so what it is is there's a bunch of little uh little gauges little sticks that has different sized measurements and what you do is you just add them up to whatever gap you need and then you just stick it into the hole all right so you just stick it in the gap to make sure it, it is correct gap and then so the specification from the Toyota manual it says that it needs to be 1 to 1.1 millimeter so I got a 0.8 and then I'm gonna add 0.2 so that I'll make 1 and then you're gonna stick it in so it is it's the correct gap if it's too loose like this is too loose you just gently tap it on the ground until it's it's nice and snug and if it needs to be bigger then you get a needle nose pliers and you gently just pry it up and then you just work your way back down until the correct gap is achieved all right so now we're gonna put the spark plug into the magnetic socket gently lower it into the hole and then first I'm gonna just gently tighten it with just a socket so you don't cross thread All right, once it's tight, next, I will tighten it. So, you don't want it too tight. You just need it snug. So, basically, I just I just do it until it gets, like, until it's, until it's tight. And then just, like, a little bit quarter turn. Next, you put the coil packs back in. So, I had them like that. Gently push it back. And then you just tighten, put the bolts back to tighten the coils down. Again, just hand tighten it until you get it in. And then we'll finish it off with the ratchet. And then so like these connectors, like I said, they're broken, but they're they're fine. They don't they're not gonna move, they're not going anywhere. So every single one of mine are broken, but they still work. Next, you're going to put the cover on. I'm going to put these little nuts back on. And then you're done. Spark plugs changed. All right, so I have the before and after pictures of the top of the piston inside the cylinders. So in the before picture, it was before I put the fake spark plugs in and after I put fake spark plugs in and I did two treatments of fuel cleaner. One of them was the BG44K, which is the number one rated fuel cleaner system that's on the market. It's pretty expensive, but everyone says it's the best. And as you can see, so the first one is cylinder one, two, three, and four. And you can see there's quite a lot of buildup. It looked like oil or some sort that was leaking through the uh, piston rings. It might be blow by, which is any substance that gets by your piston rings. But it looked like it did a pretty good job cleaning all the gunk and stuff on top of the cylinders. So this car just hit 260,000 miles. And also this engine is known for oil loss. So it's not surprising to see oil. So I wanted to share with you guys what the fake spark plugs look like after two months of use. So it looked like the tips weren't sparking properly. That's why it looked really burnt up. Also spread awareness that there are a lot of fakes out there that uh, are really deceiving. 
because I thought that since it said genuine on it that it was real but they just make everything fake nowadays and also share with you guys my results of using BG44K fuel cleaner and this will wrap up the video if you guys are new here please consider subscribing to the channel I'll try to make new content every week and I will try my best to teach you guys something new every time so smash that subscribe button and thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys later peace out